Okay, this program will show you how to find uh, the sum of rows and the sum of columns inside of an array, a two-dimensional array. So we'll start by creating the array num equals, and then let's just do one, two, three, four, something simple. And I can actually copy and paste that. And we can close that. Okay. And yeah, that looks better. So here's the two dimensional array. And then we'll make a variable um, column total equals zero. And so by default, this will be zero. And we'll do a for loop. So uh, each time the loop runs, then we will increase the column total. So column total equals the total plus num i oops, zero. Okay, and it's zero because it's just this first column that we're going to look at. You know, the column positions are zero, one, two, three, because the arrays start at zero. Um, okay, so after that, we can go ahead. Oh, I have too many, uh, too many brackets here for some reason. All right, now we can print this off. So print line and column total four. Good. So you can see here one, two. Three, four. It's just summing up all these ones. So I could do um, column one uh, is eight because two plus two plus two plus two is eight, of course. Now I could also change this to the row. So if I did row total, then how would I change that? All I need to do is just switch um, this with the row I want to find and then this with I. So 10, and actually because this is, um, these are all the same rows, they'll all be 10, uh, but I can change this to like five, and now it's 13. But if I did uh, the, like the second, the row at the second position, like this one, zero, one, two, then you get 10 again. So that helps you understand how to get the, the row and column sums. And what if I just wanted to sum the entire array, 2D array, like all each element? Then we can come down here and make a new method. So public static int sum, and then you'll pass the uh, you'll pass the 2D array into this method, and yeah, we can call that whatever. So int total equals zero another for loop so this will have to be a nested for loop and uh, I'll show that here so there's a for loop nested within this for loop and we'll have total equals uh, total plus values I J so it'll go through each row and add the sum and then go through the next row and add each the element in each column and just do it for the entire program. So let's see if I have the right amount of brackets here. Looks good. Um, oh, this should not be inside main though. So this is its own method. Close off main there. Oh, actually, right here. Okay. So yeah, that looks better. Um, I can actually shift this back one. Okay, and then I have to return an int because that's the return data type. And I'll do return total. So just to bring that uh, back to main, let's do int total equals sum uh, num. Okay, and then we could just print out that total. So what would that be? Great. So 43, that sounds right. Uh, just the sum of everything here. 
Um, I think it's 43. I'm just guessing. I think that looks right. So yeah, I just use the, the method here, sum to add every element in the array. And it looks good.